It's not often I'm approached by the police. The feds and I don't have the best history. It's not my fault they can't handle my style. I bring the fire to any rescue. I like my ice cream cold and my coffee hot. I enjoyed the Dark Knight movies, but I'm not a fan of Christian Bale. The name's Mike Scepter, and I'm a private eye. This is a Mr. Silas A. Begui, a man who grew up just outside of Toronto with a group of yetis, addicted to heavy metal and banana bread. Raised on a strict diet of Slayer and wheat-based fruit goods, he's a twisted individual. He'd been arrested after tormenting two young men in their suburban home. Now, you might think this was something they could handle. Two days ago, those same young gentlemen went missing. Vanished without a trace. And trusting the police with a case like that is like trusting a monkey with shit. They're just gonna get it all over the place. Hello, Silas. Are you here about the magazines? No. Am, am I here about the magazines? No. Well, sort of. Well, then I have some you might be interested in. Where did you get those? These are available at most retail stores. But not for this price. Do you like to read? Don't be asking the questions around here. What's your favorite color? Banana. I see. Am I getting a ticket? What are you writing? Nothing important. What were you doing at Mr. Scooter Scott's house? What were you doing at Mr. Scooter Scott's house? What? I was selling magazines for a trip to San Francisco. Son, San Francisco is just a legend. That's what they want you to think. Who's they? They told me you would say that. But they also said you would be a woman. Information is not always accurate. Yeah. So, who is this they? The Brady Bunch. And, uh, where might I find this bunch of Brady's? In San Francisco. I feel like we're going round and round as if we're in a circle. What's a circle? Never mind. Why did you steal Mr. Daniel Patterson's pants? I wanted him to buy my things. You mean the magazines? Perhaps. You sell other things? Keychains. Right. So you use the pants as leverage? Perhaps. Why did you bring a gun and tear off all your clothes? It's a last-minute technique they teach you in sales school. And what school did you attend? Harvard School of Sales and Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. What was that second one again? Yale. Right. Mr. Begui, how do you feel about coming with me to the scene of the crime and trying to clear this all up? You mean the murder? What murder? Never mind. I've s said nothing. Damn it, Sarge! The only way we're gonna make any progress in this case is if we take Dubuis to the scene of the crime. Back to the scene of the crime? Yes. Are you insane, Detective? This is a madman, and you want to take him back to the scene of the crime? Sarge, Dubuis is a madman, I'll give you that, but... He's a madman with a terrible memory! 
Damn it, Scepter, I've never trusted your methods. You've always struck me as false as your mustache, as crazy as Big Wee, and as black and white as this film. Silver, I've always respected your methods. And if you think there's the best way to get Big Wee to talk, then I suppose I can allow it this one time. Sir, my mustache is brown. And I can sure as hell handle Big Wee. It took some convincing, but the sergeant let me take Mr. Beguie to the scene of the crime. I know my craft, and like a ladybug, will sooner or later purchase fresh milk. So, with a criminal confess. It's all coming back to me now. So, what sort of bells is this ringing? I remember... pants. And a gun? A midget. When did the midget come into the story? I stole his pants. So, Mr. Patterson was a midget? I think so. I think it was actually that scooter guy. I don't remember. Why are we here again? <sighs> trying to crack this case wide open. This looks strangely familiar. What else can you tell me about that fateful day? He sprayed me with something. I don't know what it was though. I think it was dish cleanser or something. San Francisco. But San Francisco doesn't exist. What is wrong with these people? San Francisco does exist! It does, I'm telling you. No. No. This can't be. Why'd you bring him here? You don't know what he's like! Oh god! Oh, get away from me! Get away from me! Get so, Mr. Louise, ah. under my Why'd you bring him here? 